Around this school, new opportunities are being presented to students every day. Gaining skills to find your passion. And what they do with them is amazing. For me personally, I think theater is uh, an outlet to really express what I'm passionate about. It allows me to do what I love um, day in and day out. The reason I like debate is because it's a competition that really tests kind of like your wit and like intelligence and so when you win it's kind of like an affirmation. <laughs> um, I've always like been into K-pop since I was like in fourth grade so it's just kind of been ingrained in my everyday life. Um, currently my favorite thing about photography is definitely portraits. I really like taking photos of people rather than like other things. I would get bored in class a lot when I was younger and it slowly just evolved into this bigger passion. I ended up taking drawing one and two my freshman year and I just fell in love with it. So what now? <laughs> so what now? Great, so then uh, what? <laughs> now? Now? <laughs> I don't know how we got it down a lot. Uh, it's fine, we can like cut it out and stuff. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, I have a major in spy. Uh, blah, 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 repeat. <laughs> I'm going to Kansas State University. I'm going to Southern Illinois University of Edwardsville. And I'm going to Z Academy, which is a cosmetology school. In the University of Kansas. And the University of Tulsa. Northwestern. WashU, Washington University. I'm taking a gap year. I'm not going to college next year. The University of Nebraska. University of Wisconsin. I'm going to Loyola University in Chicago. Into Wisconsin. Central Missouri. Would like to go to FIT. Visit Paul. Creighton University. Hey, you or um, Benedictine? The Columbia University. I'll probably end up at like Nebraska or something. Um, Indiana University in Bloomington. Baylor or Abilene Christian? I'm going to the University of Minnesota. At Kansas State University. Kansas State University. I'm going to KU. I want to major in finance and law. Um, environmental science and business. Political science. Broadcast journalism. Graphic design. I'm not honestly sure yet. I'm psychology or international relations. Be an elementary school teacher. Accounting, but that will probably change. I'm going to major in business marketing. Psychology. During biochem. BFA in theater performance. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> the future plan is uh, go to Pratt, <laughs> uh, study filmmaking. Hopefully to become a veterinarian to come back to Kansas and then run my own Taekwondo studio. Somewhere in the art field, something with making and creating. Probably grad school. I want to move somewhere south, maybe South America even. I'll be doing a few different lighting internships. I would get a job at a salon. Hopefully I want to become a dermatologist. I think it would be really good to start my own brand, Descending Clothes. Honestly, if I could have it perfect, I'd be doing a comedy show somewhere. I want to lead people and I want to do something good in the world. The future plan is to become a nurse anesthetist. I'm in the College of Nursing, so it's a four-year program and I'll become a nurse. I want to be a Spanish or an art teacher. Get a job, do something with my life though. But I would like to work for a few years and then get married and have kids. I'm planning on starting a family and working. Get a job and make a lot of money. I'm hoping to get some research jobs traveling around and then join the Peace Corps. After college, I plan to be a, a marketer. Looking to be a marketer for a sports company. I want to do research development on renewable energy. I'll probably go work for some like tech company or something.
For 2018, my resolution was to eat healthier. It's nothing super different than what everybody has. Exercise more, eat healthy, get more sleep, rest, self-care, whatever. To be more active and to try uh, new sports. Improve my soccer skills. Our New Year's resolution was probably, well for our family, was probably working out more. Mine was to get better grades. Same thing as hers. <laughs> I wanted to finish the first semester with A's and B's. So. I wanted to get all my grades over 94. Accomplish it. I wanted to get all A's and I wanted to get an A in math, but unfortunately I got a B, but I'm so happy. I don't do resolutions per se, I do like themes for each year. Last year's theme was health. I was convinced to play pickleball and it was a blast. Um, I did better with the working out. I did not achieve that resolution. It lasted for about one grocery trip and then I went back to my old ways. And I definitely do not sleep enough, so that one probably still needs to stick. Uh, for this year, my resolution is to stay more organized and be more productive at work when it comes to grading and the stuff that I need to get done every day. This year, I want to, I'm aiming to get all A's in school because I really want a good GPA. New Year's resolution this year would probably be spending more time on myself. A lot of times just between work and kids at home, you kind of find yourself at the end of the night with, you know, just kind of working for everybody else and not spending enough time on yourself, so. I want a GPA over 4.0 and I want to read more classical books. Contentment, being happier, living my best life, I guess. I just want to finish the second semester content. That's pretty much it. Think about life like more positively or just maybe not even have to, like I don't have to be happy with everything. I just want to be like content with like my memories that I'm making. You have to give many things a try. It's, it's a slow process, but we'll get there. So you're back for a new school semester, a fresh new start. Yet you're a little nervous and going through a crisis since you barely passed any of your classes last year. So here are some tips and tricks to get you through that mid-school year crisis. Last semester you might have done none of your homework or committed the awful act of plagiarism. To get an easy A this semester, change that. New semester, do your homework this time. If needed, ask for help from a friend or teacher. Next step, try creating a new club in order to create a new community in the school. Can't think of any ideas? Don't worry, we got you covered. Our school still needs a Kansas Crawfish Club, Dick Cheney Club, Dr. Phil Club, and a Bald People Appreciation Club overall. During your mid-school year crisis is the perfect time to meet your celebrity crush. For example, if Tom Holland is the love of your life, right now is the perfect time to meet him. Okay guys, I'm about to meet Tom Holland. I'm so excited. I literally can't even like, breathe right now. I'm really excited. I'm so excited for the new movie. Do you like my shirt? Like, I'm a big Spider-Man fan. So, I was wondering if I could get your signature. Thank you. Finally, we all know the snake trip is awesome, but it only comes one time in a semester, and that time might not work for everyone. If this applies to you, you need to conduct your own snake trip. Hey, we're off on our snake trip. We're, it's a man-made snake trip. It's not an official one. Oh, shit. Every year, you swallow eight snakes in your sleep. <gasps> Don't move. They can't see you when it, you move. I am a dual snake. Oh my god. Oh. Well, BVN, I hope you use these tips and tricks to make your semester great. I'm Matt Scowcroft, and good luck, Mustangs. Hi there. Enrollment is coming up right around the corner and many of you probably still have to fulfill your tech or art requirement. If you're in that boat, or even if you're not, I have an opportunity for you. An amazing class called Broadcast One. Broadcast One is not only an exciting class, it's also a very valuable class. Throughout your time in Broadcast One, you'll work on several projects that'll teach you important life and career skills, such as fundamentals of video editing, how to use camera equipment, Teamwork, 
storytelling, and leadership. There are so many reasons for you to join Broadcast One and so many opportunities to learn new and useful skills. So when enrollment rolls around, make sure that you put Broadcast One on your schedule and you too can become a part of the Broadcast family. Each semester, Broadcast One students have the opportunity to have a project featured on the North Report. Here are some of last semester selections. sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. Peer support team with the Overland Park Fire Department is a group of firefighters, uh, paramedics, fire medics, and they receive specialized training on critical incident stress management as well as peer support uh, so they can assist members of our department uh, that have uh, mental health challenges throughout their career. Our members take mental health first aid class, which is an eight hour class that's offered by Johnson County Mental Health. They also take a, a assist class, and it's essentially a suicide prevention class. Um, and then in addition to that, our members take a 40 hour peer support class. So there's quite a bit of training uh, that we provide our peer support team. You know, first responders have all the stresses that um, the normal civilian population does, right? So we have financial stresses, we have marital stresses, you know, we have stresses with our families, but on top of all those everyday stressors, we have another layer of stress that's directly related to our work. And a lot of times we are out in the field, we're helping people, uh, we're exposed to really serious accidents, um, we're exposed to uh, traumatic events, we're exposed to people dying. Um, you know, we see horrible, awful things, and that just adds another layer of stress to our members' lives. But for some reason, somewhere in our society, uh, people have thought less of people that needed mental health treatment. Um, and I think really that stigma has done a disservice to people that need that type of assistance. So realizing that Getting treatment for mental health is every bit as normal as getting treatment for your allergies, for asthma, for a broken leg, um, all these other things. It's just another component of your health that you need to pay attention to. 
I have a teenage daughter, and I think she thinks that it's up to her to solve every problem by herself, and it's really not, right? You have a support system of people around you. Uh, you have your family, you have your friends, you have uh, administrators, principals, teachers at your school. You also have counselors at your schools. So number one is you are not required to tackle any problem like that by yourself. So you should definitely reach out. If you don't feel like you're in a good space, if you have thoughts of suicide, if you feel like you're struggling with depression or feel, feel like you're struggling with your mental health, it's not for you to, to solve by yourself. Get help in dealing with, it, with those types of issues. I'm Alex Kolich. I am a professional gamer. So like, I've been playing Fortnite since January of 2018. I've been playing professionally since like June. I spend about 10 to 12 hours a day playing video games. You sacrifice so much time. Like I don't go outside or do activities or talk to friends or I'm literally, I literally wake up, eat, and play for 10 to 12 hours a day and then go to bed. My favorite thing about Fortnite is probably like the competition and it's like a dream job. You know, I wake up and play video games and like I did not like school at all. That's you know, I didn't like college. Me. I just like wanted to do something that was like me. You guys, I, I got the dub. Let's go. Cool. The process of like getting in tournaments, you would, I played in like a qualifier and then eventually I, I knew a lot of people and then made contacts and kind of like networked my way in, but also like proved myself as like a quality player. My first Fortnite tournament was like about, it was like a $2 million prize pool. And uh, I was going up against like, I don't know if like people know who like Ninja is or uh, Tifu, Myth. Um, so it was, like, it was a really heart racing experience. And I was like so nervous and so, but eventually like, did really well and won like thirty thousand dollars. So, I've been to like six competitions like around like U.S. I've placed like high up in competitions, but I've never like actually won one yet. I was offered to move out to L.A. to play video games for four months, and during like that time there, I uh, was I was basically like, shooting like film, was doing like content for the company. And I got to live in a mansion, and you know. Got free food, you know, it's like the greatest package ever. My t Twitter is uh, SofaFN, and then my Twitch is S0FA underscore. Uh, I, know, I know a lot of people say hello to me in the hallway, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, what that means. Joyful. Bay. Go. Funny. Lollipop. Amazing. Legendary. I like seeing you all every day. If it's somebody I really know pretty well, it's nice to see how you change and grow up and you know, kind of what becomes of you. And, uh, I knew that 15 years ago when I started and I came over here a few times and I mean, I thought if I ever got a chance, I, I, I just stay here. I'll just, they'll just bury me under the flagpole. I, I was an actual teacher over in Kansas City, Missouri. I was a shop teacher for a long time and then uh, that kind of faded away and I had enough hours in English. Last five years I was a language arts teacher, eighth grade, so a little, a little of everything. You know, they, everybody feels good when they get a little reward, um, including me. And uh, so, uh, you know, I kind of try to arrange, if we got a good class, I mean, you know, if we got, you know, people throwing things. <laughs> he gives us candy. He is just the nicest, but he doesn't really care that we are bad sometimes. Well, actually, I started that over in um, the city. I would, we would um, try to organize something special on Fridays, usually, like a you know, video or some low key thing to kind of finish the week and I would give everybody a sucker. I, I mean, I couldn't quite afford it as well <laughs> before I was retired and I, as I can now, but. Mr. Morton. Mr. Morton. Mr. Morton. He's just a legend. Fantastic. And he's just the best sub.
Hey, hey you, you should go follow BVN Broadcast on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube. We'll be putting up lots of fun stuff for you to enjoy. Follow us or else.